ever. And I mean ever. Welcome to another episode from Takedowns to Breakdowns with A&P. Today's episode, we're here to talk about seven things that metalheads will never say, and we ask some for some help. Yeah. We ask for some help, and one of the biggest, if not the originator YouTube metalhead YouTuber, Infidel Amsterdam, decided to give us a hand. Actually, two hands. He double fist us double fist. for this video. So he's helping us out putting this list together, and he's going to help us showcase said list to all of you watching at home. Now, I'm a big fan of lists. I like top 10 lists, top 25 like albums of the year lists, things that people never said, most awkward moments on in life performances, all of those kind of lists. I, I just, I really like that kind of shit. I gravitate towards it. So seven things that Metalheads would never say has some sort of appeal to me. Yeah. Do you like lists? I like lists. What kind of lists do you like? Do you like grocery lists? Do you like top 10 lists? Top. Do you like best album lists? The best album lists and the, the top 10 lists are always really good. Those are always on, on the top of, of your list? Yeah. What about shopping lists? Like when you go to the, the music instrument store? Oh, but that's a very expensive list. Oh, it, it's like the, it, that, that list. That's a mortgage right there. That list is almost the size of uh, Chris Jericho's uh, Thousand Holds list. Yeah. It's, it's never ending. You always find a way to add one more instrument or one more item to that to that shopping spree whenever we go there. But anyways, are you ready to get into this? With yeah. the help of Infidel Amsterdam, we're the, gonna give you guys the top seven things metalheads will never say. I'm ready to hear from this glorious beard right here. He has the most glorious beard in, in all of YouTube, at least in, in the metal YouTube universe. Tell me another guy in the metal YouTube universe that has a beard as glorious as his. Galactic Criminal I was gonna say. He comes close. He comes close. He's, he's, he's like second, but Infidel Amsterdam takes the, the beard to a whole new level. His, I mean, he has Ewoks living in there. His beard has beard. Yeah. His beard has beard growing on his beard. Like, that's how big his beard is. You know, his beard has a postal code, has its own postal code. That's how big it is. It's fabulous. All right, guys. So let's see what he has in store for us. The number one thing, well, let's start off with number one. I mean, it, this list doesn't have any order Already, whatsoever. Yeah. So we're just gonna start off with the first thing that metalheads will never say. Is all that shouting really necessary? I'm just happy that he didn't say screaming because if there's one thing that pisses me off is when people refer to metal music as, as screamo or, yeah. or, 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 or screaming or, like that just shows absolute lack of character, lack of respect, lack, lack of, of intelligence. Lack of honest. understanding. Understanding to think that metal music is just all about screaming. Like, I, there's some people out there that think that metal musicians must just walk and step on Legos, and, and that's all you're gonna get, is them stepping on Legos. That's porno grind music. Th yeah, I mean, that's perhaps how it would work for me. Definitely. Because I'm, I'm very uh, math actor in that kind of way, so if I was in, in one of those bands, I would have to come on stage, throw Legos on the floor, and then walk Take barefoot. Yeah. And, uh, because I need to get in character, I need to, I need to get in, into character. So. Uh, what about scream? Like, do you, do you like when people say? I, that? I don't like it when people say that. No, but uh, I just know that they don't under like understand the music, so I just let it go. You let it go? Yeah. But do you get a lot of that from your friends? I do. I oh, do. Unfortunately. All right. Let's see the second thing on Infidel Amsterdam's list. I really, genuinely wonder what Corey Taylor thinks of all of this. I actually think that all metalheads want to know what Corey Taylor thinks about everything. So I, I think this one is, is, I don't know if this one is really accurate because I actually think metalheads actually think that. Uh, m maybe not all metalheads, but I think there's a huge percentage of metalheads. I want to know what he's thinking. About everything. Something happens like there's a tsunami somewhere. Like, I wonder what Corey Taylor thinks of that. Like, have you ever gone through the day and something has happened to you and you didn't think to yourself, I wonder what Corey Taylor would think of he, that. I wonder how he feels about this. Yeah. Don't you think so? I, I think so, yeah. I mean, the guy's, I mean, he's Corey Taylor. Like, what, what else is there to say? Uh, Corey Taylor, that's all I have to say. That's all you have to say. That's all we have to say. All right, let's move into number three. Don't you have anything else but black? This is something that not a single metalhead ever, ever, and I mean ever, said at a merch stand, at a festival, or at a show. No, no. Black is, is the perfect color. Black goes with everything. Yeah, exactly. By the way, black is not a color. It's a shade. Is it? 
I know it's not a color because I, when people ask me what's your favorite color, I always say black. And then they always act really smart and intelligent. You know black is not a real color. It's a shade. It, to which I always answer, fuck off. Exactly. That's, that's the right answer for when people come at you with black is not a color. Uh, anyways, this is something that never happens. I, I honestly, I, I've never been, I've been in line at merch stands, at festivals, shows. I've never heard somebody say this. And I don't think I'll ever will. No. Because, it, it, I mean, black go like you said, black goes with everything. I mean... And 99.9% .9 of, of metal merch is, is black. Is black with like a cool design on it. Yeah, but it's... The it's, most color you're getting is from the design on the black t-shirt. I think the, the, the most amount of change you will see is that odd white t-shirt with some black graphic yeah. on it. That's about it. By the way, speaking of which, I once, once went to see Ensiferum and I was wearing a white Hinaina t-shirt. Oh. I stood out because, you know, at the end of the show, they always take a picture where the band is on stage, like with a crowd behind it. They, when they took that picture and they posted on their social media, you can see me a mile away. Like Guess why? Wall, though. Guess why? Because you were wearing white. I was the only one. Everybody was wearing black. I was the only one guy. I stood out like a sore thumb. After I saw that picture, Never again. Well, I mean, it's good that you got to see yourself in that picture, it, but, though. Dude, it looked so weird. I was the only guy like with a white t-shirt. It's a metal shirt, don't get me wrong. But it, it, it looked so weird. I just, I want to blend in with all my peeps. Yeah. I want to blend in with all my peeps. All right, let's see the next one on his list. No, I don't think there's enough Iron Maiden and Slayer merchandise. This is also something 100% no metal head has ever said. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he also has the Slayer um, uh, figure behind figurine him. behind him, yeah. which we have the same one. We have that one too. Show no we mercy have like two of them. Uh, three actually, because I bought the one glow in oh, the dark. Oh yeah, you bought the glow in the dark one. We also have the glow in the dark. If there's if there's uh, something that is 100% effect of life, there's no such thing as too much Slayer or Iron Maiden merch. I think I have like four or five T-shirts of each of those bands and. Uh, the figurines of Slayer and, and Iron Maiden. Yeah. I have whole collections of them. Like those two bands are so iconic that I, I'm I'm starting to think that if they released uh, toilet seats, people would buy them. Actually, fuck, I would I would definitely buy Show No Mercy toilet seat. Imagine that when you go take a dump. You're showing. I'm no gonna mercy. show No Mercy to this fucking toilet right now. I'm gonna go nuclear, dude. No, I mean, we're just either that or here. an Iron Maiden belly of the beast toilet seat. Oh, because when I sit there, guess what? I'm releasing the hounds. That is the belly of the beast right there. Either one or the other. I think these would be. We're like, just giving ideas over here, dude. These would sell like hotcakes. Seriously, I don't, I don't, I don't understand how the people in charge of these bands haven't thought about this stuff. Come on. <sighs> Anyways, let's check the next one on his list. Ghost is by far the most brutal band in metal history. I'm a huge fan of Ghost. <laughs> I like but Ghost. I would, I, I would but never I say that. I would never say that, no. I would never... Th this is not a, a hill that I'm willing to die on. Like, it's just... Uh. It, this is not even a hill. This is like an ant hill. It's not a, even a real hill. Uh, do you think people... I don't think, is, has anybody ever said that? No, because I don't think that it's not true. I know it's not true, but there's these diehard uh, Ghost fans that think like... I, I love Ghost. I'm a huge Ghost fan. I think it's the band that I've seen the most. Yeah. Them and Slayer, probably the two guys. But it's because they put on such a good show. I, I, in one year, we saw them three times. In one, in yeah. one year, on, on the same tour, they came. They came around three times. We saw them three different times on that same year. I didn't regret every single time that I went to no, it because the show was different. Every very single. entertaining. Very entertaining. But the question is, do you think anybody would actually say that? I, there's those diehard Ghost fans that think they're like the next best thing since since sliced cheese or sliced bread, whatever the expression. It's bread. Is it bread? Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Cheese. I mean, cheese also comes in slices. I could, yeah, it could yeah. come in slices. So anyways, and you could cut your cheese. But regardless, do you think those hardcore ghost fans... I do think they would say that. Especially because of uh, Mummy Dust. Because like, that's like their heaviest song. That is their only heavy that's song. That's their only heavy song. So I feel like that, that, that would give them the reason to say it. But they're just completely wrong. I, I think those guys that dress up like Pop Emeritus. Oh. They hang out outside the venues before the show starts. And they take pictures with people. I mean, is there 15 seconds of fame or if they show up really early it could be half an hour depending on how how early they get the doors open but I, I i could see those people making making that argument but i, I don't think there's an argument there's no war and, and then the idea that that uh quality comes with heaviness it's also it's not true you you don't have to be the heaviest band in the world to be like one of the coolest bands yeah and to have great music when we went to see ghost 
here in Toronto, uh, opening for Iron Maiden. And, and uh, Metallica was played the day before. So Metallica played in Toronto the day before. The following day was Iron Maiden and Ghost. And James Hetfield was at the show watching Ghost. So, I mean, if Papa Hetfield does it, yeah. if he's a big Ghost fan, I mean, what's wrong with being a Ghost? I get a lot of slack for liking Ghost, by the way. Same. But... I mean, I don't, I don't care. care. Yeah, I, I don't care. I, I feel the thing is, but I, I don't say this kind of shit. But I laugh my ass off at the people who dress like Poppy Emeritus at the show because I know for a fact, five minutes into the show, they're sweating their ball sack off in the front row there. Yeah, the paint is melting. The paint is all melted. They have this big cloak on them that's this making them sweat. I have no sympathy for those people. I, I do give them credit for going all out. Oh, I mean, definitely. Like the, because they, they look, look really good. They look good, but. It, it only looks good for about five minutes, and that's it. That, that show that we went to see of Ghost with Iron Maiden, you were wearing the, the ghoul uh, I had mask. The mask. And you were drinking water through the hole in the... You were exactly. I can't believe you wore that mask for the whole but set. But the, the, the thing about it was that mask had a lot of air pockets, so I was good. But when, uh, I don't know if you were good. You were sticking, like, water through, like, I think it was the hole of the nose or whatever it was. Because yeah. the, the stuff didn't match. But you were struggling. I was struggling a bit. Because it was outdoors, was summer. Uh, the only this good news years, and years ago. Yeah, the only good news for you is that their set was really short. I think they only played thirty minutes, forty five minutes. I took it off opening, right away. After they that. were the opening band, but I, I think you were struggling, and that's the one that just covers your front. It's not the one that you have to fully engulf yourself in it. Yeah. Anyways, I love Ghost, but I would never, I would never claim that, and I don't think anybody should, and I don't think you have to claim that in order to, to make a point about the quality of their music. I mean, I like Ghost. If you guys don't like Ghost, it is what it is. It is what I, it is. Yeah. Listen, I'm not a big Kiss fan, so. Actually, I don't like Kiss at all. So it is what it is. I love those arguments that I have with Kiss fans, and they don't like Ghost. And I'm like, dude, Ghost is the Kiss of now. Ghost is the Kiss of this generation. But anyways, I always I, I love those those arguments. We're definitely gonna get a lot of people in the comments. Maybe we should talk about that on a different show. The Probably. differences between Ghost and Kiss. All right, guys, let's see what he has in store on uh, next on his list. No, I love getting Rick rolled by a so-called metal YouTube link. Nothing pisses me off more. When people send me a link saying, hey, check out this new At The Gates video. And then I click on it and it's fucking Rick rolled. I just been Rick rolled, bitch. I love that shit though. I love I it. I fucking hate it. The, the, a friend of mine that, that works for Summer Breeze did that the other day. Sends me a link saying, hey, have you checked out the, I think was, was it Insaferum? Because he's a huge Insaferum fan. Have you checked out the latest from Insaferum? And I was like, fuck, well, did I miss something? Like I should have gotten a press release or something. I click on it, it's like fucking Rick rolled. I sent them a message, I was like, fuck off. I love that shit. Like, dude, what are we, 10 now? Like, It's so good. I don't click on links anymore because of that. But you should that know. That and, 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 and viruses, but, I just don't click. But you should know. I think in the YouTube link, it even, like, you get Rick no, because you change the, the link, the address on the link. Oh. Even the thumbnail that pops up on your private message doesn't show. Rick Roll. It but shows something you, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a but those are, those are smart as shit, though. I think there's a website where you can put like the Rick Roll link in it and it fakes it as something else. So I, I think there's something out there because when, when I got the message, it actually looked like legit. Otherwise, I wouldn't have clicked on it. Uh -huh. When I clicked on it and I see, I, I see Rick Astley, I was like, what the fuck? Like, dude, I'm over the age of 40. Like, what the fuck are you Rick Rolling me for? Like, seriously. <laughs> Like seriously. That's so smart though. Those... How is it smart? It's like the dumbest shit ever. Because it's not like he sent you the actual link. He just sent you a no, link. No, he actually went through a lot of he work. He went through a like lot of the... work just to fuck you over. That's the funniest shit. I know, but okay. But he's not here to see my face when I get Rick rolled. So wh where's the payoff? The payoff is knowing how pissed you are that it's not in Seferum video. But he's not here to see my face. Like so oh. like, So he's just like, so him just imagining, imagining it, it. That's it, the payoff. That's the payoff. And also the message back saying fuck off is the payoff. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see uh, the next one on his list. I think this is the last one on his list, yeah. but, but let, let's check it out. I think black and white corpse paint looked a lot better on Kiss. We've gone full circle. <laughs> We've gone full circle. We've gone full circle. Uh, Kiss. I, I'm just not a Kiss fan. I'm just not a Kiss fan. And, and, and even the diehard Kiss fans, I don't think they would say that. You know what I mean? Like, imagine you, you're looking at a bath. And say, you know, that 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 look looked much better, better on Gene Simmons. <laughs> it looked way better on Kiss. Gene Simmons did it way better than you. He totally rocked that shit. Plus, he had much bigger boots. <laughs> hey, 
It's and true. his tongue is also much bigger. So, I mean, I, I've never seen a Bath's tongue, but I'm imagining that Gene Simmons has perhaps the one of the biggest tongues in, in metal. But anyways, well, I, I'm not here to judge. I, I'm just putting it out there. But imagine seeing that. Yeah. Or, or going back in time. Well, you, you couldn't really go back in time. That wouldn't work. Telling the guys in mayhem. I was going to say, you go up to Euronymous and you're like, this doesn't look as yeah. good as Kiss, but okay. Yeah, you know, like, you know, it, it, you're doing all right, but... Paul Stanley, he really nailed it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he really did. He really did. You, you, perhaps you, you should take some lessons. Yeah. It's, it's a little off-center. You know, you, you, it doesn't even look like corpse paint anymore. You almost look more like, like a panda bear at this point. Like, one eye is black, one eye is white. Like, what the fuck are you doing here? Yeah. You know, I know, I know you're a struggling musician. You perhaps ran out of black paint. You had more white. So, you know. But this is something, this is a thing that even the most, I, I'm really serious, even the most diehard KISS fan, a member of the KISS army, now I'm really thinking we need to have a KISS ghost discussion yeah. in the next video. Uh, even the diehardest KISS army fan would never say something like that. And then there's the big argument. When was KISS at, at its best? Is it with the face paint or without face paint? I, I don't like Kiss, but if so you, to you, to me, it's kind of irrelevant one, one exactly. way or another. But if you're gonna make it at least slightly more entertaining for me, for somebody who doesn't like the band, at least put some paint on. And yeah. Or what would you rather see live, Kiss or Creed? Oh. You know what? With my arms wide open, I would take Kiss. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> I'd take Creed, man. <laughs> really? I'd I would take Creed over Kiss. Uh. Ah, with my arms wide open, I would go for a kiss. Okay. I would go for a kiss. They I have a much better discography. Such Creed with the, the corpse paint. Oh, you wanted to see them with corpse paint? Yeah, what if they had corpse paint? I still would take kiss. Come uh, on, like, as far as musicianship is concerned, and discography and quality, I don't like kiss, but I have to admit, they have a very deep discography. Yeah. So in terms of what I'm going to get on stage performing, the, the pyro show and everything else, what the fuck? Way more entertaining. Yeah. Kiss would show up with like flamethrowers and shit. Creed would show up with Nerf guns. I just want to like, see Scott Scott uh, Scott Strap. Scott we keep, Stapp. We keep calling him Scott Strap. I know, Strapp. but we're trolling. You know him. what? Fuck it. It's Scott Strap now. <laughs> I would love to see Scott Strap <laughs> with, with with corpse paint. Imagine how he would look with the Abath corpse paint. I was just gonna say that. I, I'm just gonna reiterate what I just previously said. Uh, Creed are the Nerf gun of guns. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? At least Kiss is still like somewhat of a rifle. You know, uh, the other guys are just like Nerf. That's it. They bounce off of you. Exactly. you know? Like, all right. Well, uh, uh, what do you what do you guys think of this list? Let us know. This is all the work of Infidel Amsterdam, and we want to thank him for taking the time to put this list together for us to participate in our video. Much love to our brother from another mother from another continent. Uh, we have nothing but love and respect for this guy. Great YouTuber. He really paved the way for metalheads on YouTube. So nothing but respect for him. Thank you for participating in this video. And let us know, guys, you out there watching this video, do you want to hear a discussion about Ghost versus Kiss? I, I think it has to happen. I think so, too. But if you don't want to hear about that, let us know your thoughts on future uh, videos in terms of topics, things you would like us to discuss. Hit us up in the comment section of this video. Or, or questions for us and we can always just Yeah, any them. question. It could be about, you know, space-time continuum. It could be about traveling. Uh, it could be about, you know, uh, tarot card reading. Uh, it could be about whatever. Like shoelaces, no shoelaces. W what's your take? Velcro shoelaces. High tops, low tops, you know, Space Jam 1 or 2. Who's better, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, who's the GOAT? Whatever, hit us up with whatever. And uh, and uh, my phone is going off. Uh, and we'll be uh, more than happy to pick some of those ideas. And, and say them at the end of the video, yeah. And talk, and talk about them at the end of the video. All right, for today, this is it. We'll see you next week. See ya. See ya.